a fire burns inside you, Padawan. That, in itself, is not inherently wrong. It is my job to help you temper it. This is why I chose you to accompany me on this mission. I do so enjoy a challenge. Sizzlin Mir, to Mace Windu following his early trials as a youngling, Windu attained the status of Padawan by becoming Jedi Master Sizzlin Mir's apprentice. During Windu's apprenticeship, a man named Druze had taken residence in a Jedi outreach temple on the planet Mathers. With the local populace suffering from the effects of the Niffin Plague, Druze convinced the people that he was a Jedi prophet who could heal the sick and the dying in return for their faith and servitude. Upon receiving reports of Druze's activities, the Order dispatched Mir to assess and apprehend him. At the same time, Mir sought to teach Windu how to channel his frustrations into an appropriate emotion and therefore brought him to Mathis. As they made their way to the temple, Windu observed the people's situation and pondered on what the Jedi could do to alleviate their suffering. He also denounced Druze as a heretic and swindler who perverted the Jedi doctrine in order to take advantage of the people's misery. At that point his master cautioned him to suppress his hostile feelings, having noticed how the thought of Druze using the Jedi's teachings to prey on others frustrated Windu. They entered the temple and found Druze with a group of Force worshippers, one of whom beseeched him to heal her child who was dying in spite of her many prayers and offerings. Druze's followers came to his defense when the Jedi openly confronted him. Using the distraction they created, he tried to escape from the temple but was pursued by Windu. Although Druze's Gamorrean bodyguards were defeated by the Padawan, Druze managed to injure Windu's left arm with his blaster pistol. He taunted Windu and mocked the Jedi's ways, sneering at their commitment to peace as he believed they should use their power to gain wealth through the faith of millions. Using the Force to immobilize Druze, Windu disarmed him and vowed that he would never hurt anyone else. However, Mir intervened by ordering Windu to lower his lightsaber. While she understood her apprentice's frustrations, Mir believed that Druze's punishment should be decided in a court of law. 